Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, shout out Maverick. What's up, bud? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. <laughs> We got ourselves a high class, harbor freight, top of the line, snap-on equivalent, toolbox. Yeah. Nope, snap-on is like three times as much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bright red, our favorite building color here at Man Family Farms. Look at this thing. This thing's pretty big, really. This is gonna be the unboxing. Ooh. Dang, son. Look at that, beauty. It's a roll cart, so we can roll it around, move it wherever we want. Look at the honey badger. He's like, yeah, I don't need that. I got my husky over there, I don't need that. What do you think, badger? He likes it, he's like, dang, that's sharp. Man, that's nice. clean. I don't see what it gains us. It gains us storage, obviously. So it's got a nice top that we can put, what do you usually put up here, sockets or impacts? So sockets up there and- uh, Wrench? And screwdriver and pry bars. And nice. We'll have to get it loaded up here. U.S. General. That probably holds just as much as that box. I bet we'll get way more in here than you guys think. Uh, I believe it. Look at them big bad boy casters, nice. Nice wheel, yeah, swivel, swivel. Nice handle over here. So, it's a toolbox tour. Got our half inch sockets, three eighths socket impacts, chrome sockets. Metric standard. Short view. We just got all Milwaukee. Uh, three eighths is all Milwaukee, just in the little sets you buy at Home Depot or whatever. And then the uh, quarter inch is a silver Eagle set. It's a truck or a set I got off the Matco truck. I guess this this kind of doesn't sound like a very official toolbox tour, but we can do one sometime when we get it fully loaded up. These are Icon sockets. Yeah, these are Icons. I don't know what the old ones are. Crescent. Those are like. They're called Genius. Dad bought them at like a farm show quite a while ago. I'm going to get a set of John Deere wrenches to put in here just because the sets are really, they're really pretty big and they're not bad price. We got kind of hammers and punches, chisels to get some dividers to organize this and pliers. This is kind of an electrical supplies drawer. And this one's empty as well. Tried to convince them to get a snap on. They would. You, you talking about me? I had about, You tried to convince me to get a snap on. I was about eighty percent. It's like seven thousand it dollars. It was. It was too much for what we needed yeah, here. So seriously. Everybody's talking about these U.S. General thirty-four Plus, roll cards. Here, it's back actually, got, This is a lot. Let me let me demonstrate. Shut the drawer. Let me shut the top lid. So you want to go in here and work on something? It's a lot easier to drag this little four by twenty-four inch box around. <laughs> then it is a 72 we inch. Pull, I pulled in and with this like on the 32. Board, I was like, what are you doing with that? We don't need more stuff in the shop. I was like, Dad, we we're getting stuff. one thing to get rid of like six. This is what our whole This is a lot is. easier to drag around. You like it now. We're going to make our custom uh, bracket over there to hold tape measures. Bixie, what you doing? What are you doing? What do you got? Well, okay. Hey, come on. You got farm managing to do. Let's roll. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here, Dixie? What is that? Hey, come on. Don't be shy. Show me what you got there. Come on. What is that? What is that? Is that a dead rabbit? Well, you little scoundrel, look at you. 
Oh my, Badger here. Look at this mess the kids left me last night. Hmm, they give me garbage for cleaning up, not cleaning up. Yeah. They're guilty as charged. Let the cleanup begin. See him. There's mustard over there. Guy Decker in. We're unloading the, the I beam for our second overhead stand. So this will go in uh, late spring or early summer. Hey, here's Axel. He's the newest farm manager around here. He's kind of new. He doesn't really know how things go, so he's just kind of doing whatever. Now I don't know how much these beams weigh, but they're heavy. And look at the telly. Look at that thing, not even budget. Gonna reset it a little, not quite squared up. What a little pig. We are ready to put the hose in the reel. Let's see how this goes. Going to be fun. That's a long hose. Hopefully this goes all right. About this close away, testing this thing out. Getting there. Pumping fuel out. Hey. Into the Mander Creek. We got a new fill tube on there. Hopefully it works. All right. Well, uh, failure, failure number one. Uh, I think I have an idea what happened. So the filter go inside of these and you pull these out to put the filters in and it came with the gasket to put on there but when we put them on it looked like there was already one that came with the filter housing but I'm guessing those ones that came with the filter go in addition with those that are on there which explains why it's leaking. The smart we did put a valve on there that I gotta get under and turn off so that'll stop the fuel. Let's see if it works. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. Wasn't that genius? Oh, smart. I did to put a valve on there. Wow, zero Billy, that was good. Good call. Let's get these filters off and put the seals on, and hopefully it works. Big dog. Little dog, but mighty dog. The ultimate farm manager. We got a new camera setup going on. I got a GoPro Hero 10, so we're gonna see how this works. All right, we got all of our pump stuff. Hopefully figured out. Hopefully. We're pumping it in. We'll come look back. Look at that nice new clear sight gauge to see exactly what's in there. We'll come back when we got filled up and we try firing this bad boy up. Today is the remade, not completely done, but pump ready to pump fuel out of Mander Creek. So hang on. Here we go. Gas on, choke on. Easy. Look at that. Starts on it's the first pull. It's a Honda. Nine ah. years. Nine years. <laughs> it starts on the first pull. Oh, this is exciting. What? Hold up. Oh. Right. 
We'll be back. Obviously that didn't go as planned. We gotta get a couple new plugs. The one was leaking. Not sure if it was the plug. Uh, it's a galvanized fitting, so we might try a brass one. And I'm not sure if the, maybe the thread sealant wasn't the best and wasn't working the best. So in the meantime, I am gonna go take a load of corn to the ethanol plant. Big boy, 2020. So as the truck's airing up, it's when I go around and I check all my lights, take my tires, all that good stuff. Okay, we're gonna hit the road. Truck warm up a little bit. See you over there. We made it here. So it's only about a 45 minute drive to get here. I like to stop on this little frontage road over here where I'm going right there. I just stop here, get my tarp rolled, kick up my tag axle. That way I'm not holding anybody else up in line. Here's the entrance. All I do is simply come right in here, hook a right, and we pull under the probe right here. green light we are good to go so now what I do I get on the CB I tell him my vendor the farm name or the, who's, whose corn it is and a ticket reference number stop just about right there I wait for my green light on the scale all right there it is just pull off the scale now hook a left to the end. This is Lincoln Way Energy in Nevada, Iowa. This is an ethanol plant. Um, no joke, we dump corn, and as we're dumping and we pull out of here, you see guys loading ethanol out. I mean, it's, it's legitimate. Corn makes ethanol. It's not fake, it's not make-believe. So we're all the way down here at the end. Hook another left here. Oh, what do we got going on? Confusion. Somebody wants to get in the left, somebody wants to, I don't know. I'm gonna stay left. Now is the uh, most fun part of grain hauling. Uh, it's waiting in line. Um, I know a lot of other farmers and truck drivers know exactly what I'm talking about. There's a lot of corn out there and a lot of corn needs to get hauled, so you wait in lines. Okay, my turn, pulling into the pit. suspension I always roll my tarp in there just so I don't have to get out again and protected by the wind in case it was a windy day dumping done so I'm gonna head back get weighed out we'll be out of here come out right here paying a left I mean this place is so simple I really like coming to this place Right through here. A couple speed bumps along here, but they're not really much. Snake back through here. There's the main entrance right in front of me. Hang a left. Back towards the probe. Now you don't pull where the probes are. Usually there's probably trucks there. So you kind of have to watch, make sure not one of them's pulling ahead while you're trying to sneak through. So then you sneak through on the left side here. And then once you get to a point, sneak back over. Make sure you don't hit your trailer on that post. I'm sure that's happened. And you go back on the scale. Get yourself straightened up. Stop right at the ticket printout so you can grab your ticket. There it is. 
grab it. I always double check. Looks good. Pull off the scale. Once you got your ticket, you're good to go. And you hang it right, and we're back on that front road, and back home we go. Really nice place, so that's it for corn hauling into this place. Super simple. Absolutely love it. So we're going to head back home and uh, see what they got done. We think we found a solution. This is the cap that the pump originally came with. It's a plastic cap, so we wanted to replace it with a metal one. But since that one was leaking, we noticed that this one has an O-ring on it, so we're just going to see if it holds. If not, then we'll get a different cap. Anyway. Kind of just going easy. It, it splatters so much that it. Okay, that's coming out of there pretty good rate. Looks like it's working. I'm gonna put it on automatic. There's a little catch mechanism on there. There we go. Okay. All the way automatic. It's all, all full way. automatic. I don't even have to throttle all the way up either. Yeah. Just clipped off. Looks like a dream. So I'd say that's a success. Is the pump holding up? Yep. Big reel. Ah, uh, yes. Back to the homeland. Area 21 at Grand Central Station. Gonna get this truck reloaded for tomorrow. So something that we've been dealing with, the sensor on the overhead bin is stuck, we think. So it doesn't tell us when it's full. So I've just been running it basically 10, 15 minutes at a time and it basically gets me enough for a full load. Really digging this GoPro. I hope you guys like it. I hope the quality is a little better. It's a lot easier to uh, handle. It's small, it's compact. I got a nice little handle for it. It does a really good job of transitioning. Like, I don't know, this doesn't feel so abrupt. You know, when you spin it around, it's so smooth. I don't know, it's weird, I like it. I like it a lot. Words cannot describe how awesome it is to be able to load inside when it's cold out. Before, we were all outside. We could hold one and a half loads of corn in our overhead bin. It was simply a side draw off of a small 6,000 bushel bin. Having this set up is just, holy moly, night and day. It makes this task so much faster, so much less painful, and just easier and more efficient all around. Just the other day, you saw us unload the I-beams for the other overhead that's gonna come up. It's gonna be sitting right there on that guy and the one right back there. So John says he's planning on hopefully putting that up by sometime in March. So what that's gonna allow is we're gonna be able to hold 5,600 bushel in overhead storage. So we'll easily be able to load five semis without having to touch the leg to load. But we got one guy hauling out, he doesn't have to keep restarting the leg and loading this overhead. He can simply load five times and he's done. That basically keeps one guy busy for more than a day. The way I load this truck, I put two nice big piles in the front, the front two, between the front two bows, and then in the back, I get 80,000 on my air gauge down there. So I'll check that once I get close. That gets me right at about 88,000 pounds, which is what I can legally haul with this truck and trailer setup. It's got the triple axle trailer, normally with a tandem, tandem, you'd be able to haul 80,000 pounds. But with that extra axle back there, I can haul extra 8,000 pounds. So that's pretty nice. Hopefully I can get this whole truck loaded without having to start it up again. Well, shoot. Not even close. Look at that. I got to start the legs up, start running some corn. Moving corn now. You can see we're getting them bins taken care of. All right, we're loaded. 80 on the money. 
My GoPro just died on me. Ah, first day. Can't even last the whole day. Horrible first day on the job, right? That's okay. I didn't have it fully charged. Area 21. So beautiful. Pull the big rig back inside. She can take a good night's sleep. Ready for more corn hauling. You'll have to be a mom to get you to have hose reel. Holy buckets. Here we go. We're going to give her another run here. Let's see how this yep, does. We're going to give her one pull. Jeez. That's why you get on. Nine years I ate. Oh, 